Hey guys, we are at Taffington Boathouse and today we will be building a series of docks that will serve as housing as well as a floating motel. Um, we're going to be turning Taffington into a trading outpost that is protected by the Minutemen but not necessarily run by the Minutemen. Now building in the water here did provide a unique challenge but that's always part of the fun. I think you're really going to like the way this turned out. So let's get started, shall we? The first step is going to be to uh, create basically the dock platform that we can put our structures on. And so I, I opted to use these barrels here. I just flipped them 90 degrees. And then we're going to go ahead and put them just underneath the lip of the board there, just so it looks like it's attached. And then we're going to sink it into the water a little bit, maybe about halfway or so. Um, you know, And putting several barrels underneath each one of these boards is just going to make it look a little more realistic, like it could support the weight. And we're just going to do a few here. No reason you should watch me do this over and over again. Well, with all the barrels in place, we just use Select All to move the whole thing and just line it up. Now we can just use the water line and sink those barrels in about halfway just so it looks like it has some weight on it. There we go. Nice. Now of course in one of my builds we're gonna have to have a junk fence so we're gonna use these uh, one of these vanilla junk fences here just to kind of break up the profile of the structure here a little bit and also uh, keep us from seeing underneath the dock on this side and just a matter of lining it up and keeping it from sticking up through the uh, floorboard there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and support this walkway and here's what I talked about earlier when I mentioned the um, trouble the water gave me. Now when you're sitting in the water that current just wants to pull you towards the shore and in retrospect I should have used a floorboard there to kind of just make a little platform I could stand on while I was putting this into place would have made it so much easier but eh, what are you gonna do I eventually get it in place now it's time for a few railings um, now you, as you can see that first one just snaps on and then we're gonna use place everywhere to kind of sink these uh, these railings down into the junk fence a little bit and just kind of extend that height um, and it turns out the junk fence also uh, breaks up that texture so we don't see the same railing texture over and over again although it does repeat a little bit just line it up with the height of the other railing and then get this other one in there nice now you've seen me use this technique before and we're just using this um, pillar here from the homemaker mod and we're just going to use it to support this uh, overhang here a little bit just a matter of lining it up getting it high enough so it's touching the ceiling there without poking through just raise it up a little bit more and should be about there now we can't have that big of a gap for an entryway into this uh, dwelling so we're going to go ahead and use one of these half walls to close it off and just use place everywhere to line it up now I do want the doorway um, right here that we're blocking off. So what we're going to do is place this half wall here and then snap another one to it just so we can move that doorway. It was a little annoying having to jump back in bounds every time I wanted to uh, open up the workshop mode, but nothing much you could do about that. And there we go. Now I use these... Um, She's where I shower curtains, I guess, as kind of uh, doors, basically. I, I imagine they're they're able to attach these to the wood and then slide them closed and open. It's a little bit easier than having uh, doors there, especially with these smaller spaces. Um, just gives me a little bit more freedom when I'm decorating, and they look really cool too. Well, this is Taffington Boathouse, so I figured. We can go ahead and use one of these rowboats here, um, easy enough to salvage and repurpose as a walkway. 
just a matter of getting the height right and um, getting it so it's not sunk into the dock there. And now we're going to go ahead and put some of these junk bridges across the top. Makes it a little easier to walk across. And it also uh, hides the fact that there's water inside the boat. Just a matter of using place everywhere to kind of sink it down a little bit. Make it line up. Nice. I already have most of this structure built and we're just going to be using place everywhere to section off uh, a small room here. Uh, these walls won't snap uh, at the floors in this location so we're just going to go ahead and sink this wall into place. So now we're going to go ahead and put some stairs up. Now I opted to use these uh, narrower stairs from the scaffolding uh, tab and it's just going to help us have a little bit more room to walk around on the dock and place everywhere will just let us uh, put it into place. They won't snap to the roof. Similar to the first structure we built, we're going to go ahead and have a little overhang um, over a small patio area and we're going to need some of these um, wooden pillars here but this time because of the roof we're using we need to place the pillar a little bit higher up so since there's too much of a gap or you know there's a big gap between the bottom of the pillar and the floorboard we're gonna have to use two of these pillars so you can kind of glitch them together you just need to uh, line them up just so it doesn't look like there's too much of a overlap just a matter of getting it exactly lined up almost there nice here we are on the roof and we're going to build yet another uh, covered patio uh, I guess I, I just really like the way the covered patios are, especially here on the water. Um, just gives you kind of like a nice open feeling, I suppose. Um, just a matter of snapping them into place. Wow. I can't tell you how many times I fell off these structures here. I've used so much rat away, um, just from all the time I spent in the water. Now this middle dock is going to be the home of the ghoul that runs Tappington Boathouse um, Trading Outpost. And I figured she's going to want a nice area to entertain her guests. And so what better area than a nice open air patio with a great view of, um, you know, of the river. Now we're on the third and final dock. And this is going to be the floating motel. And I wanted this to be a little bit different than the other ones. So you can see here I placed down nine boards, but we actually take out the middle section and just use the quarter boards just to make it the footprint a little bit smaller and in turn it will feel a little more cramped um, which is definitely something that I was going for for this last one the other two felt a little bit more open but they're gonna be it's permanent housing so seeing as this is temporary it's alright if it feels a little bit cramped and just kinda of changes it up a little bit now something else we're gonna be doing a little bit different with this dock um, we're gonna break up the use of the barrels uh, we're still gonna use some barrels but uh, we're also gonna use these um, boat pieces which uh, comes from a mod called uh, I'll link it in the description but I, I believe it's called Port Royal which adds a bunch of uh, boat pieces and just kind of boat decor it's actually a really cool mod um, I highly recommend it but we're just gonna use these as if they're attached to the sides there to kind of help float this dock up I really wanted this dock to also look different so in addition to the traditional vanilla pieces we're gonna be using the medic and practical um, I guess what are these uh, vendor stalls uh, they are kind of well they're a different shape as well as you can use these geez what are those uh, canvas roofs I guess um, just kind of changes the look of it a little bit you know, so not all the docks are going to look, you know, the same, even though they are all built pretty much out of wood. But this is something that's, uh, I don't know, I really like um, with this thematic and practical mod, is it actually comes with these little door frames. Now, they don't snap in, but you can just use a place everywhere to kind of put it in place. And then the walls snap to it, and then you can just put a door right into it. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty cool idea. I'm not sure if any other mods also include door frames, but... I really like using this one. Now before we get to the tour, I want to share my favorite part of this build, and that's these uh, floating turret stands. Now uh, there's a lot of caps and a lot of merchants flowing through Tappington, and so they, they need to be protected. 
And on the shore, we're going to have the Minutemen offering protection. But in the water, we're going to need these floating turret stands. Now the construction of these turrets is actually pretty simple. It's just uh, three tires, some ply boards, which are from Thematic and Practical. Then you just go ahead and put the turret down and then surround it with uh, some of the sandbags that come from um, Homemaker. And I'm just using Place Everywhere to kind of glitch everything together. And you just want to surround the turret just so it looks, you know, like it's being supported and it won't fall off this platform. The final piece of the platform here is an anchor. So you can see the current there and if it's not anchored it would obviously get pushed up to the shore so you want to go ahead and use some wires and conduits just to kind of make it look like it's you know being held in place and it's just a matter of getting it so the wire doesn't um, clip with the side of the tire just a matter of moving both conduits looks like we got it nice here we are at the first dock we built and this is actually the home of the handyman who lives here at Tappington and he has his own completely private dock and you can see uh, he has a little cooking area out here of course there's some meat out on the grill I don't know where he is right now and they're doing pretty well you can see the fresh vegetables looks like some uh, Mirelurk meat and some canned chips there uh, on the table as well as some chems or well a chem box beer and a little bit of whiskey of course and seeing as this is Boston, we have some lobster traps sitting about. There's going to be a lot of uh, fishing paraphernalia around. And you can see over here, underneath the awning, we have uh, some chems. Now, this guy not only is a handyman, but obviously he's also a chemist. You can see there's quite a bit of chems uh, sitting about. This being a trading outpost, um, one of the things that they, they deal in here is going to be chems. Not much going to bring you more caps than chems. You can see some paint there. He is a handyman after all. And of course, a blood bug. This being Taffington and near the water. They are going to have blood bugs creep up from time to time. And you can see a couple of mini chem stations there on that uh, counter. And that comes from a mod called Creative Clutter. Um, they actually have all the workshops or workstations. Um, in mini form. It's pretty cool. Of course, we have some weaponry on the wall. You've got to be able to protect yourself from blood bugs and raiders. And then uh, we have a bed there stacked up on some pallets. Now, at the foot of the bed, I did glitch in a dog bed. Um, I haven't got a dog yet, but uh, in the final tour, there'll be a dog. I really love the way that walkway turned out using the rowboat there. It just looks really cool. Now heading over to this uh, middle dock, we have uh, Clara's home. She's the ghoul that runs this place. Was able to come here and clear out the blood bugs and then set it up as a trading outpost. And downstairs here, we have a fish uh, processing area. And I figured, you know, being on the water the fish are going to be plentiful here. It's another thing they're going to be able to trade, uh, you know, across the Commonwealth. So we have a little station here for weighing the fish as well as drying them. And then, of course, we have some buoys set up for the nets we have for roping in, you know, larger amounts of fish as well as, um, you know, uh, lobsters. And in here is where the head fisherman lives. Now, he has, obviously, uh, some headwear and uh, different outfits there. If you're going to be out in the water all day, you're going to need, need to protect your, your head and your neck um, from the sun. Another simple uh, sleeping area. Of course, there are some weapons there on the ground. Uh, with all the caps flowing through this place, uh, I imagine they're going to get attacked quite a bit. It's where the Minutemen come in, uh, which we'll get to in another build. And here is our first uh, fishing boat. You can see there's some lobster traps and, of course, a life preserver set out there. You know, safety first. 
And now we can head into Clara's room. Now, she's a ghoul, and she's been around for a long time, so you can see she's a bit of a pack rat. Um, of course, there's some ammo laying out, but a lot of different knickknacks and clutter. Um, her favorite weapon there, sitting on that trunk. And then you can see some robot models sitting in that shelving unit there, and lots of paperwork, a small safe. Um, this trading outpost does pretty well for itself. Um, you can see all the books there um, being well over 200 years old. You're going to want to reminisce about the old times and, you know, also having the ability to read. Just kind of have a lot of escape there. The Commonwealth is not the friendliest place to live. And you can see the uh, luck bobblehead there. It helps with getting better prices from the merchants that uh, set up shop here. And a big comic book fan, apparently with all the comic books on the table and the Unstoppables poster. Now let's head upstairs and see uh, what we have set up up there. This dock turned out really well. I'm super happy with this build, actually. It's, uh, I wasn't 100% sure how it was going to turn out or exactly what I was going to build here at Taffington, but this trading outpost is coming along nicely. Can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with the, the main house there. Now heading upstairs, uh, on the left here, we have a little fishing station set up. And I figured you're not always going to want to take the boat out. Um, sometimes, you know, you're just going to want to sit here and catch some fish and check out the beautiful view. Of course, you know, you're going to have beer if you're fishing. Now look at that view. Damn, that looks good. And over here in the patio, we have a little uh, entertainment area. You know, being well off, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of people that want to hang out. And so this is the place where Clara would take her guests. And you can see uh, we have some fresh fruit sitting out. Of course, some mentats and a little bit of chems in the chem box, I'm sure. You know, you might as well enjoy yourself and the caps that you're collecting. And then over here we have some alcohol and various food and Nuka-Cola set about. And then, you know, of course, a great view of the river. Well, let's check out the third dock and take a look at the motel. So as the sign says, these rooms are all for rent. And this being a trading outpost, you're going to have various traveling merchants and caravans that come through. And, you know, those people are going to need a place to stay. You know, whether it be for the night or for the week. And they have a small selection of rooms that they can have a little bit of privacy, somewhere to store their belongings. Um, you can see here, this first room is already rented out. We have a book and a lit cigarette there. Looks like uh, this guy's out and about. You can see his... Uh, suitcase sitting there and these are kind of smaller rooms but not really decorated that well uh, you know they are hotel rooms you can see this guy had a meal and has a few caps laying about you don't have to worry about it um, this place is protected by the Minutemen coming out here we have a small uh, seating area a little private off in this corner here with a nice uh, view of the river, and you can see one of those turret stands sitting out there. Now this room here is not for rent, it is a pantry for the bar we're going to build in another video. And you can see here we have some food and alcohol, some fresh fruit storage here, a bunch of Nuka-Cola, some beer barrels over there, as well as some hanging meat, just drying here, out of the sun. This is also the only room so far that has a door, just a little bit of extra security for the uh, valuable food that's inside. Now over here, we have a room that is not rented out, and you can see that there is no... Uh, 
you know, personal effects in here or clutter laying around. Although there is a little bit of decoration, you know, it is a hotel room after all. Now, heading out here to the last room, um, we can take a look at. And of course, there's a sign up reminding everybody the Minutemen are watching. Now, this room, I imagine, would be for caravan guards. A little bit less privacy. We have two beds in this room instead of just the one. Um, but they are the guards, and they should be used to that. Now, it looks like there is one bed in here that is rented out, and uh, that guard has his rifle up on the wall. Also looks like he purchased a crate of beer. They're probably going to be here for a while. Now heading out here, we have our second fishing boat. Looks like it is all uh, ready to go on a day excursion. Some fishing gear and looks like some beer out in the front of that boat. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave me a comment below for any thoughts you have on the build or any questions you have for me. Subscribe if you want to see when my next build goes live. Um, we're going to be continuing here at Tappington. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, and until then, enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.